Now, Bangladesh's interim government has asked the Central Bank's Financial Intelligence Unit to probe 28 journalists. And according to reports, these journalists include nine editors, former editors and organizational heads. Now, the Information Ministry has also ordered the cancellation of the press credentials of about 20 journalists. The Bangladesh Financial Intelligence Unit, or the BFUI, has now summoned the bank account details of these journalists acting on a directive from the Ministry of Information, the BFIU, has sent letters to banks asking for information on these journalists. A report citing a high-level BFIU official said that the information being sought is whether there are any bank lockers, savings cards, credit cards and other financial instruments under these journalist names. It's also sought details of any monetary sanctions. Meanwhile, the student leaders who led the campaign to oust the former Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina have said that they'll urge the government to form an all-party council to advise on the president's removal. The Student Movement Against Discrimination and the National Citizens Committee came up with a suggestion following a meeting with the Left Democratic Alliance. The student leaders have been calling for the removal of the current president, Mohammad Shahabuddin, over comments related to the ouster of the Hasina government. The student leaders have also discussed the demand for declaring the last three national elections to be illegal. However, the next parliamentary elections are not likely to be held this year. And according to the Times of India, the office of the chief advisor, Mohammad Yunus, is indicating that it may take just over one year to organize the polls. Now, Yunus had earlier said that no elections will be held until the proposed reforms are completed. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.